What's up YouTube? This is Will here and today I'm going to be talking about the six degrees of separation and how amazing that is. Um, right now I'm in my chemistry building for um, my college campus and first off let's just get down to it. The six degrees of separation it's, it's this concept that when we're talking some sort of uh, semi-large community like this college campus uh, there's this myth or concept that all of us are separated by no more than six degrees and you probably heard something along this along these lines before basically the idea is that um, each degree is one person you know so therefore um, you technically know everyone just as long as you know few people because of that six degrees of separation so uh, you know one person that's one degree and then that person knows another person uh, that's another degree and then you do that six times and that branches off exponentially and you kind of know a lot of people and it does make sense I mean let's break it down mathematically let's say you know ten people just ten people those ten people um, let's say okay let's let's make it even smaller uh, so it makes sense uh, six people those six know six others and those six know six others so it's six to the sixth power um, and obviously the more people you know the more likely that this is true and I really feel that uh, what I've learned from putting myself out there and meeting strangers is this is like the value of knowing and meeting new people is so tremendous in certain ways I'm not saying it's gonna like completely change your world but you'll be astounded about how certain people are connected to other people and so forth and I mean there are people out there who do this naturally um, what spurred me to make this video today was quite frankly the fact that just today I realized that some people that I just casually met, uh, just casually, um, who I just thought were ordinary people, they know people or they've met people who are quite e extraordinary. Um, one friend that I recently met, she recently sat down uh, with Warren Buffett, who, if you guys don't know, is one of the richest people in the world. Granted, it was sort of like a field trip thing uh, for her business school, and she kind of went with um, dozens of other people and sat next to Warren and it was sort of like a formal thing where each school could only ask like two questions. But the point is, she sat next to him while uh, they were eating at one of uh, his favorite restaurants. So this is just one example of how, quite honestly, we're all sort of connected because um, I really feel that for me at the very least, I definitely know someone who knows someone and all these people sort of connect together so that I've technically interacted with the entire world. So like if you were to use this sort of transitive property where okay if you know someone who knows someone who knows someone then you technically met someone then if you were to use that property then I really feel like most almost everyone in this world has met everyone else and is connected in some way shape or form uh, through another person uh, maybe a long line or chain of people but nonetheless a chain to every other person in this world and the greatest way to expand that and really uh, capitalize on that is to actually go out and meet people like sure indirectly you can be connected um, if you're a loner and you only have like one friend indirectly you could be connected to everyone in the world but that's not really going to do you any good and you know I'm definitely still working on myself I kind of suck at it to be quite honest um, but I'm working on it and really there's it's amazing because there, there are people who are just naturally exceptionally good at this um, on Facebook for instance I know um, quite a few people who have thousands of Facebook friends Granted, I know most of these friends are just casual encounters with people they've met um, or maybe they haven't even met before. And I know some people out there would be like, oh, these guys have got all these friends simply because they're famous or 
something or other. Um, and usually that's not the case because I've met these people in real life and I know that they're not famous. They don't have like a Instagram that promotes themselves. They're not actors or actresses. Um, it's just because of their social life um, and sometimes because of because they're really attractive girls but other times because they're just naturally sociable dudes and they just naturally gain a large so social circle um, now I'm not saying you have to have thousands of friends because that could in fact become sort of a hindrance and that can really affect you if your lifestyle is constantly uh, geared towards doing this then you'll have no other time for other more important stuff but um, it's very important uh, to have at least you know to go out there and at least for me I make it a challenge and I don't always end up doing it because of work or because I chicken out but I, I make it a challenge to meet one new person per day and I actually mean meet one person on a deeper level than just a shallow hello goodbye and that's sort of why I sort of chicken out sometimes because um, quite honestly anyone can go up to someone uh, they don't know and just say hello goodbye uh, it's nice to meet you and, and call it a day and say yes I've met one new person but that's not really going to do anyone any good so uh, I made, I made it a challenge and I, I want you guys to set this goal to, to meet someone new on a deeper level every day. And sometimes it doesn't work out or sometimes uh, that person really doesn't want anything to do with you or they're just not, in, at least in the moment, ready to do anything other than a shallow hello goodbye. Uh, but set that as your challenge and actually get to know someone new. Um, and you'll find, you'll start seeing things in different lights. Um, as always, as you guys know, I'm s definitely still trying to figure this stuff out. I'm struggling on the way, um, uh, but I'm getting there and uh, maybe you guys can uh, come along the journey with me. Uh, this is Will and as always, if you like this video, hit the subscribe button for more videos in the future. Like, favorite, comment and subscribe. Peace.